So when we return to the moon this time, it is about sustaining life on the moon and doing long duration um, exploration. The lunar architecture team is looking at a multi-purpose vehicle. Basically what it, you can think of it in, in terrestrial terms is, is a truck. A truck that you can put a snow blade on, that you can haul things around on. What we've done is we've made this partnership with Caterpillar. The first step uh, for us was to provide them with a uh, uh, tele-remote multi-terrain loader, which uh, we were able to deliver to them. The relationship with NASA is very beneficial for us. This is because NASA has very good experience in different domains like robotics and uh, vision. So we are trying to take advantage of that and adapt it to our machines. We selected Caterpillar's multi-terrain loader because it is the same size, kind of the same class as we expect to go on the lunar surface. Caterpillar is also helping out with giving us ideas. They're part of the design reviews. We have Farad and Jean Jacques available so we can talk about ground pressure, what, what the shape of a bulldozer blade should be. The best thing about our partnership is it parallels what Caterpillar needs to do in the market. So they're building infrastructure all over the world, some of it in very remote and some of it in very dangerous places. I think NASA has a strong need for Caterpillar technology, especially if they are trying to implement uh, sustained life on the moon. Yes, NASA is something that adds a little bit of spice to the project because they get us very excited. But the work in itself, what we're doing, I think it's uh, by itself very, very exciting.